Hi, Cindy. Hi, LeVar. This is so beautiful out here. Now, what do we expect to see out there today? Hopefully some humpback whales. Hopefully. Yeah. Cindy, you got some whales off the starboard bow. Whoa! Look at that. That's a humpback whale. That's a pretty big one. It's probably, probably 45 foot long. If you watch carefully, probably in a few seconds, the mouth will come right through there. Right there. Whoa. You can even see the mouth. The mouth is open. That's amazing. And the baleen is right there filtering the water out. That's too. all the stuff inside the jaw? Exactly, yeah. See, instead of having teeth in their mouth, mm -hmm. they have something called baleen. There's this hairy fringe on the inside. And this hairy fringe acts like a big sieve. So when the water comes in and the fish comes in, the water just scoots right out and ends up in the ocean, and the fish are trapped right against that hairy fringe. And actually, if you look really closely, and if you listen closely, too, you can see and hear them breathe. They have two blowholes, just like we have two nostrils, and they uh -huh. open really wide and then close right down again so no water actually gets into the lungs or they drown. Or they drown, right. The big whooshing sound, that's when they exhale, mm -hmm. and then they have to inhale. To that's when the water comes up, too, right, on well, the exhale? it's not really water. It's more like when we exhale on a winter day, you can see your breath. Right. It's moisture. It's not really water. Is that right? Mm-hmm. A lot of times, when they go down on a deeper dive, they'll bring the tail up and out into the air. Uh -huh. We call that fluking. Their tails are called flukes? That's right. Uh -huh. And on the bottom of the humpback whale's tail is a pattern which is black and white. And we can actually tell individuals apart, just like people do with their fingerprints. Right. So you can actually identify the whales by the patterns that are on their flukes? Mm-hmm. taking the flipper and slamming it on the water. Now, why does it do that? It's usually a social signal. So it could be signaling to other whales? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whales are sort of laying on their belly. When we see them, we only see their back. Right. So if you rolled over, your hand came up and out into the air, you slammed it down. That's like the arm of the whale, almost, except right. we call it a flipper. Look! The whale just leaped completely out into the air. That's amazing. We call that breaching. Usually it's for communication, but even calves will do it. Sort of like playing. Really? Yeah. So they're just fooling around and having a good time out there. Jumping for joy almost. Yeah. By watching and studying whales, we can help them to survive.